you know, I hate it when, uh, when you win and it doesn't feel like you won. And uh, I told our group in the locker room, listen, every game's hard in this league. You want to celebrate every win that you can get. Anybody can beat anybody on any given night. But we got to put 40 minutes together. We got to grow up. We have to mature. We have to learn how to finish games a heck of a lot better than we did tonight. You know, whether it was our shot selection in the last six minutes, learning to play with the lead, whether it was just being careless with the ball, um, you know, honestly, playing Olay defense at the other end. I don't care if, if we're trying to take away threes or not. And then the half, half slap on, on the ball, giving up and ones, not blocking out on free throws, not making free throws. Those are the things I got in my mind right now, and I'm, I'm frustrated. Um, but I am, uh, I, I, thought, I thought we put together pretty good 35 minutes, maybe 34 minutes, um, especially considering Paul got in foul trouble in the first half. I thought we had guys step up. I thought Jerome Hunter brought a ton of energy to the game when he entered the game. Um, I thought DeWan was really good in the first half as well, um, pushing the pace, you know, getting the ball, sharing the ball. And obviously Zach, <clears throat> Zach was really good tonight. You know, he's, I think he's been trending the right direction over the last three or four games, starting to see him gain that confidence uh, that, that, that he needs to be a great player and uh, that we're all accustomed to seeing. So, um, but we got to be better. Um, but again, you know, give credit to Butler. I said this going into the game, I told our guys this. You know, I referenced the Bengals and the, uh, and the Chiefs. Obviously, the Bengals beat the Chiefs here, uh, here at home a few weeks back. And nobody cares, though. If you don't win that next game, you get no credit for that. You know, so we beat Butler at Butler. It's a whole new game. They're a different team with Bo Hodges. Laval Jordan's doing a tremendous job with his group. He's got them playing hard and believing. And I think they're going to win a lot of games here moving forward. So, but I, I was proud of our guys being ready to play. But we just got to finish heck of a lot better. <clears throat> um, you mentioned the start of the game. Like, was there anything that you noticed that allowed your team to to get off to a better start in this one and and not get behind early like you have been? I thought our shot selection was good, Adam. For the most part, I mean, I thought it was really good. I thought even we missed some bunnies around the rim to start. I remember Colby kind of missed one from about two feet. Jack missed one from about two feet. Um, you know, Jack missed a couple, more than one, around th from two to three feet. I thought we were getting great looks. I thought we ran better offense. I thought our ball moved, uh, which that's the way it has to be for 40 minutes. You know, like you can't do it for bits and pieces. If you try to force things in basketball, you're going to look bad. And then it's going to allow to get teams to get out and transition. We can't get our defense set. That's how teams have been going on runs. Because, like, you look at the turnover percentage and the rebounding percentage in the first five minutes of the games. We're doing great in that regard. It's our shot selection that's killing our defense. And I thought it was much better here to start the game. And Zach's performance <clears throat> tonight, it feels like he's been building to this a little bit with what he did at Creighton, how he played against Providence. Um, what do you make of, of where he's at right now and what he was able to do in this game tonight? Yeah, he, he's, he's gaining that confidence, Adam, that, uh, and that rhythm. It takes, it takes people. Listen, I, I think fans and, and even us as coaches, we, we forget how hard it is to sit out five months and then be thrown into the fray against in high major basketball in the best league in the country. It's hard. It is really difficult. He's harder on himself than anybody else. You know, Zach holds himself to a really, really high standard. And I'm just proud of Zach that he's been able to um, embrace uh, those plateaus, right, and the valleys and find his way out of it because that's not easy. That is not easy. And, uh, but Zach is working really hard with Coach Hayes, getting extra film in, extra work in, and it's really paying off. Travis, it seems like this – Butler matchup has just been a good one for you guys in both games this year on the offensive end. Is that a thing where the style of play works well for you, or are you picking on certain defensive matchups that work well in this game? Or, Yeah, I, I think we're starting to figure out a little bit, Rick, you know, who we are, where we need to get the ball. You know, I, I think, uh, you know, our, our ball movement was better tonight. Let's make that loud and clear. But we also got the ball for the most part where we wanted to get the ball. We got the ball to the paint. We were driving it, shot faking, posting the ball. I wish we'd have got it in more late to Jack. Jack had Bo Hodges on him, and they put they decided to put Golden on uh, Zach Fremantle. Um, we got to get it in even more during that circumstance. But understanding 
where the ball needs to go. That slows the game down for us. When you don't look like a spaz out on the floor going 100 miles an hour, that's not the way basketball is played. You can't play 100 miles per hour, especially in the half court. Uh, you got to play slow. And you got to get the ball where you want to get it and understand where our advantage is. And then once we get to that advantage, it creates a lot of really good shots for us. You had a couple interesting lineups in this game. I can't remember the first one, um, but there was one that you used where Colby was actually running the point. Where Was this just a product of the way the game went, Paul getting in early foul trouble, or did you see something that, that maybe you wanted to try some new stuff in this game? Yeah, We've been starting to get reps of Colby at the one. Uh, I think you always have to have three guys that can play the point guard position. You know, obviously Paul and Dewan have been the two guys uh, to this point in the year that have played the, the PG position for us. But you never know with injuries, with COVID, guys getting foul trouble. You need to have another guy that can do it. And Colby's such a good player, he's so versatile, Adam. He can he can handle the ball. He can get us an offense. He knows every play, <laughs> at every position. You know, and, and uh, so it's been seamless for him. And and listen, it could be a look for us moving forward too. You know, like, because Colby, I think, is a, is, a, is a guy that can really move the ball and get us in offense, and it can put guys in different positions to maybe work and even open up some things for us offensively even more. Coach, you guys had a uh, plus six assist to turnover ratio tonight as a team. Can you guys talk about how the emphasis of how big that is in a game like this, especially a team pretty aggressive like they're on defense where they take a lot of chances? Yeah, they, they are third in, in the Big East in turnover percentage, um, turning teams over going into this game. And, I, and I'm not talking the whole season. I'm talking Big East games specific. Um, and, you know, they were really – they turned us over early. We had six turnovers in the first half. We had two in the second half. We had 14 assists on the game. That, that, that shows – I always say this. Listen, when, if you value the ball, right, that's, that's part of what sets the tone for the game. Like, hey, we're here to play. We're going to execute. We're not going to just hoop our way out of trouble. We're going to execute. We're going to get the ball where we want. And I thought we did that for at least 35 minutes of the game. We got to do it for 40, though. I know you talked about this in your opening statement, but do, do you think that the end of the game was was your guys getting comfortable with, with a lead, or, or how, do, how do you evaluate that last stretch that, you know, really didn't look good at either end? Yeah, it's inexplicable, Adam. we got to be better. That's on me. It's on me. I, we got to be better. We're going to show the film. We're going to work on it. Yeah, we're, we're not going to finish that way ever again. Thanks. Thanks.